Hi, this is Dane with Super Bright LEDs. Today we'll be going over some Twinkly products and how best to use the Twinkly app for them. In front of me are three Twinkly products, Twinkly Square, Twinkly Flex, and Twinkly Line. We'll be using these as examples for setting up your Twinkly products with the Twinkly app. Now, most Twinkly products have plug and play capability, no app required. However, you can get more out of your Twinkly product by using the app. It will allow you to adjust settings such as brightness, timers, and customized patterns allowing for more unique displays. Before we get started, you'll need to decide which Wi-Fi network you want your lights to be connected to, as your controlling device will need to be connected to that network as well. Check that your Twinkly lights are placed within range of your Wi-Fi router and can get a strong signal. Also, make sure your device's camera, Bluetooth, and network connections are working properly. The first step is to arrange your Twinkly products and have them powered on. Make sure you can reach the button on the back of the square or the controller attached to the other products. Once you've arranged your lights, you'll download the Twinkly app that's available in both Google Play and the Apple Store. Next, open the app and create an account, either by connecting to your Facebook account or making an account with Twinkly by using an email address and setting up a password. When adding a Twinkly product, you will first look for previously paired products on your network. Next, you will see this screen. This will connect your lights to your device via Bluetooth. If you don't know what your product falls under, check the device's packaging and instruction manual. The Flex and Line are Generation 2, which has an attached controller. The Square is denoted separately here. Follow the instructions on screen by pressing and holding the specified button until the light becomes a light blue, noting that it's looking for a Bluetooth signal. You will then be offered the choice to connect to either home slash office Wi-Fi or direct Wi-Fi. I would highly recommend using the home slash office Wi-Fi as it allows you the ability to connect smart home apps to control your lights remotely and makes connecting to your devices a lot easier. When you select home slash office Wi-Fi, it will attempt to connect to the Wi-Fi your device is currently using and will prompt you with the Wi-Fi's password if it's needed. As a reminder, whatever Wi-Fi you connect the Twinkly to is the Wi-Fi your device needs to be connected to in order to make adjustments. Next, you have the option to name your device. This can help easily differentiate devices inside the app. Once your product is connected to the Twinkly app, you can use many of its controller functions and preset effects. However, to fully customize the look of your Twinkly product, you will need to first map the lights. As soon as your product is connected, the app will request to map your lights. If you skipped it or need to remap the lights, you can go to the layout tab at the bottom of the screen, denoted by the grid. For mapping, the app will use your device's camera. Make sure to keep your camera steady while it scans the lights, which can take 15 to 20 seconds. Instead of hand-holding, it is best to set up a camera on a tripod or prop it up against something, making sure to keep the entire set of lights in view. The camera will catch reflective surfaces, so make sure your lights aren't set up near anything reflective. And lastly, be sure to not make the room too dark, as this can cause issues. Once this is finished, your device will have a map of your lights along with dots tracing the patterns of your lights. If you find that there are some extremely out of place dots, double check the reflection and visibility and hit try again. At this point, your setup is complete. If you want to add more Twinkly products, go to the devices tab in the app and select the icon in the top left corner, and you'll repeat the previous process for every device. Now let's go over the app in some broader terms. In the future, we're planning on multiple videos going more in depth into specific Twinkly products and unique ways to use them. So be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when those videos go live. We'll start with the devices page. Here you can see all the devices you have connected and their current status. A green dot on the left signifies that it's online and can be controlled. A gray dot means it's currently offline or unplugged. The toggle will turn the lights on or off. And the gear is used to view or change device settings or remove the light entirely. As noted before, the icon in the top left corner will take you through the process of adding more products. The chain icon in the top right corner will allow you to group multiple Twinkly products together for more complex patterns across multiple products. Before we move on, make sure the device you want to make adjustments to is selected on the device page. Next, we'll look at the controls tab. Here you can control the power and brightness of your lights. It also stores the most recent light effects for quick access. At the bottom is a timer, so you can use this to time when your device turns on and off. To note, if you set your timer, your device doesn't need to stay connected to the Wi-Fi for the lights to turn on and off. Finally, we'll look at the gallery tab. By default, you will have a number of pre-made selections to customize your lights, such as patterns, animations, and art. Depending on your product you're using, some of these may work better than others. So play around and find something that works for you. Twinkly is also adding more effects all the time that you can download. When you make your selection, you'll have the option to favorite the pattern, edit certain aspects such as speed and color, and apply it to your lights. You need to make sure you hit apply or your lights will go back to the previous selection. In the top left corner of this tab, you will find the playlist menu. 
Here you'll be able to create and time out playlists of your favorite gallery items, having them cycle automatically after the selected time. In the top right corner of the gallery, you'll find the FX Wizard. This allows you to make custom patterns and animations that you can save and use later. This is pretty complex and something we will get into in future videos, but for now, I'll show you this option that you can use on certain products, importing a GIF. This can pull any image from your device and use that as the pattern for your Twinkly product. Just select your file, resize it to the appropriate size, and save. Now you have your own custom image that you can use to style your lights. And that's it for this video. We'll be making more Twinkly related videos in the future dedicated to heavily customizable aspects of your Twinkly lights. And if you have any questions about the Twinkly app that we didn't cover here, be sure to leave a comment and we'll try to address that. If this video got you interested in any of the Twinkly products shown here, head over to superbrightleds.com to buy these and other great products. Thanks for watching.